Hi guys, so today we're going to read about something a little different. This one will be about aliens, because we all love aliens, don't we? <laughs> However you feel about aliens, these people in Las Vegas in May said that a spaceship crashed in their backyard and that they actually saw the aliens. And if you've watched the video, I mean, they look pretty sincere. They really feel like this happened. So, what better time to ask Tarot? what really happened here's the video clip of uh the situation if you haven't seen it yet and then we'll catch up with on tarot in the alleged sighting of strange creatures in the backyard of a northwest valley home so it was last night that eight news now investigator david charns reported about how metro police responded back on may 1st after receiving a strange call from a very frightened family well our report generated a global response and now piecing together the sequence of events has been kind of tricky in part because the primary witnesses have been almost as elusive as the beings they say they encountered chief investigator george Knapp is as perplexed as the rest of us, George. As you know, this is not our first UFO rodeo. We first heard about the incident in early May via the Metro Police grapevine. The incident has a lot in common with other bizarre cases from around the world. An alleged crash, strange beings, and bits and pieces that don't make sense. But the police took this seriously, and so do we. Just before midnight on April 30th, sky watchers across several western states saw a bright fireball streak through the heavens. A police officer working in the Northwest Valley caught a glimpse of the colorful object on his body cam. At nearly the same time, a ring camera in the area recorded a strange noise and what sounds like a crash. One family living in a ranch-style home had a much closer view of the object. Two brothers and their father were working on a vehicle in their yard when they caught a glimpse of a sparkly object as it came crashing down, then were hit by what they describe as a shockwave. One of the witnesses, a young man named Angel, has stated when the brothers looked into the yard where the object landed, that spot was obscured and blurry, as if by unknown form of camouflage. What they saw next prompted a frantic call to 911. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. They're okay. like eight foot, nine feet, ten foot, I don't know. They're, they, look like, they look like aliens to us. Big eyes, they have big eyes, okay. like, like I can't explain it, and big mouth. They're shiny eyes, and, and they're not human. They're 100% they're not human. Eight News Now investigators have spoken with family members multiple times in the past four weeks, but each of the three times we accepted their invitation to do an interview, they didn't answer the door or their phone. These okay, interesting, huh? So here we are, and we are going to ask about aliens. I don't know. Some people do believe in aliens. I don't know what to think. Um, you know, we all humans think they have everything figured out right <laughs> we all think we've got it figured out we know and it's it's silly how naive we all are in that i think but i don't know if i believe in aliens either what we're going to ask today is was it really aliens in the backyard let's ask tara let's ask the the whatever um i just call it the powers of the universe whatever's out there that we connect to to get information Okay, tell us about were these aliens in the backyard of that Las Vegas video. This one right here. Well, honestly, that's my card for speaking the truth. <laughs> I love it. This is going to open my eyes, maybe. <laughs> maybe I'll be a believer by the end of the reading. Isn't the queen of swords? She's my truth lady. She's the one who speaks the truth all the time. Queen of swords tells it like it is. She doesn't beat around the bush. What she says is the truth. Wow, I don't even know what to think about it. Maybe I do believe in aliens now. I don't know. So um, let's see. Uh, Angel was the boy. Um, tell us about um, Angel in this poor situation with aliens landing in his backyard. Tell us about what what's going on with Angel with this. Poor kid. <laughs> his life will never be the same. You know how many people are going to tease him? Let's see what, uh, tell us about Angel in this situation. Ah, oh, Angel just wants a break from it all. He wants to rest. He wants to be done with it. That's the four of swords. That's like 
just give me a break. <laughs> Leave me alone. Let me rest. He's just kind of putting it to rest right now is what I get. Because there's so many people, I think, that are um, barraging him for the truth. You know, we've got the swords there, too, again, and the four swords. I think he just wants a break from it. He's just like, all right, I did it. I said, spoke my truth. Uh, tell us one thing about this whole thing that you didn't see in that video is the cops actually shut off their um, body cameras when they went into the backyard. And they have not released that as far as I know. And everybody's like, mm, that's suspect. And they're saying it's because it was private property. But if you watch cop videos, they like record on people's private property all the time. So a lot of people are saying this cops did see something. So let's see. Well, did the cops see something related to these aliens? It is really funny that they would not refuse to release that recording. Did the cops see something? Because they, they, they release all recordings. That's the um, king of cops. That's the person in charge. We see the police. And they had a lot of emotions about this. Okay, so they don't want um, their emotions exposed um, and or their knowledge. This is a knowledge card, this uh, Wheel of Fortune. These, these are both pretty high up there cards. So... I think they were afraid and they don't want people to know. They don't want people to know their emotions. The King of Cups is a very emotional person. So they were expressing their emotions and they don't want people to hear it. Um, and the Wheel of Fortune is, yes, they did gain knowledge from this. You see them all with books and the wheel is turning. It's going forward. This is the sword of truth to me. This card has a lot of information in it. I think they do know more than what they're letting on. Plus, they don't want people to know how they felt in that moment. Hiding their feelings. Okay, um, let's ask, I don't know, ask about the aliens. Like, how did, well, what, how did they crash? This is such a funny reading. I would have never dreamed. <laughs> Tell us about how the aliens crashed. It's actually saying this is true. I don't even know what to think about it because I kind of don't believe in aliens, but <clears throat> I do believe in what I get through tarot. All right, come on. Tell me about uh, how these aliens even crashed. I thought they were supposed to be smarter than us. All right, so this is the magician. This is like a thing that um, to make you disappear. So it's like um, trying to disappear, trying to appear and disappear. Um, and maybe it didn't quite go as well as they wanted it to. Huh, that's interesting. <laughs> They were trying to use a bunch of different tools that they have to appear and, and disappear and reappear and not be seen. You know, the magician, he likes things not seen. But unfortunately, something went wrong. I would ask what went wrong, but if this is aliens, I don't know anything about it. Let's ask what went wrong. What the heck? See if there's any card that could give us any stuff. I don't even know what to think about this reading. It's telling me it's the truth. All right. Uh, tell me. <laughs> tell me about... What went wrong with this spaceship? We're getting this card. Um, well, that's the Empress. That's like being too comfortable, not being on guard, not paying attention. Um, the Empress is very, very comfortable. You know, she's and, and she's not not someone who doesn't pay attention. But in this situation, it's like they almost got too comfortable. They almost got too comfortable. That's what I'm getting. They got too comfortable. Huh. Yeah, too comfortable with getting too close, like to Earth instead of to the stars. She's very grounded, this Miss Empress. Okay, well, I don't even know what to say. The cards are telling me the aliens did land in their backyard. I believe in the cards. So I'm, and the police were trying to hide their emotions, and that's more of why they uh, turned off their body cam. There was like shock and all kinds of stuff going on on their ends, but they are trying to hide their emotions. And this whole magician thing. Um, do Does the uh, government now have anything to do with that spacecraft? Let's ask that. Does the government now have anything to do with the spacecraft? Does the government have any parts of it? Anything to do with it? 
All right, so um, yeah, I do think they do. Look at that. That's the Queen of Pentacles, like very staring at something that's a tangible object and holding it and keeping it. You see how she does? And this one's like taking it away. This is a nice sneaking it away card, grabbing what you can and going with it. It looks, I know, I know, I'm with you. I, I'm having a hard time with it. But honestly, this is what Tarot's saying. It's saying, yes, they know about it. Look at then this circle remind you of a little spaceship and then they took it away took took the pieces that they could away yeah weird huh very very weird okay well um i don't even know what to say i just don't it looks like from what tarot's saying it's real the government knows about it the police uh, were very emotional when they first saw it and they learned all this knowledge here and the whole alien thing was trying to um, appear and disappear like the magician, but got way too close to Earth and um, didn't quite work the way it was supposed to. Hey, I guess they make mistakes too, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, that's uh, my reading on the alien craft, bizarre as it may be, and this poor kid angel who just wants to kind of put it to rest. He's sort of tired of it all. Um, bizarre, but there you have it.